The desire in modern organisations now is to make information work harder than it ever has before. If we are to compete, we must make everything we do the best it can possibly be. In order to do that, we need information to inform every single decision that happens throughout the business. Often these decisions need to be taken in flight as part of an operational process. This means a significant change for the traditional data warehouse and query performance is going to be the critical element in driving business process efficiency. So what's the limiting factor with data warehouse performance? The answer typically is I.O. We need to analyse vast amounts of data by pulling it off disk and processing it. Data warehouse performance is limited because storage systems limit the data bandwidth between the storage and servers. Even high-end storage arrays have internal bottlenecks. While this problem affects queries, additionally it affects loading data. Write performance can be limited, particularly by disk speed. At Oracle, we address this issue in a number of ways. With the Sun Oracle database machine, we place intelligence at the storage tier with Exadata, and we use an InfiniBand network for high performance and low latency. The database machine offers a massively parallel storage grid where data-intensive processes can be run in the Exadata storage. In addition, we have smart caching technology which caches data in flash memory, improving read and write performance, more than doubling I.O. bandwidth and increasing I.O.s per second to an incredible 1 million per second for a single database machine. But how can we be smart in terms of reducing the I.O. burden? Let's suppose we have 10 terabytes of user data that we want to query. We're going to need 10 terabytes of I.O. First off, we have compression capability in the database, and on the database machine, we can compress data by around a factor of 10 for data warehouse loads, using a technique known as hybrid columnar compression. The data stays compressed in memory and as it travels through the network, so we end up with 10 times less I.O., and therefore a query that runs much faster. So now I have the equivalent of one terabyte to scan. But what if I've intelligently partitioned the data using Oracle's industry-leading partitioning techniques? A very conservative estimate would be that I could reduce the amount of data I need again by a factor of 10 with partition pruning. OK, so now I've got the equivalent of 100 gigabytes of data. I could hope to eliminate more data with indexing. With Exadata, we have storage indexing at the storage tier. This holds metadata about each megabyte of data, and we can eliminate any megabyte which does not subscribe to the predicate of the query. Again, conservatively, let's say I reduce the I.O. by a factor of 5. I'm now scanning the equivalent of 20 gigabytes. But we don't stop there. With Exadata, we have the notion of smart scanning, evaluating the predicate, doing column elimination, and even bloom filtering for star queries at the storage level. This gives a huge reduction in the amount of data traveling through the I.O. system. So our data set of 10 terabytes could actually become about 5 gigabytes of effective I.O. Hence we can achieve sub-second responses even for very large queries. So Oracle provides a wide range of techniques to improve I.O. and hence deliver the extreme performance the business needs. You can find more detail by watching the webisode chapters to my right.